We've got some breaking news on Bill Ackman's Pershing Square. Leslie Picker has it. Leslie? Hey, John. Yeah, Bill Ackman's Spark, which stands for Special Purpose Acquisition Rights Company, has been approved by regulators. This news coming via press release moments ago from Pershing Square after a year plus back and forth to get the concept approved by the SEC. Pershing Square con conceptualized the Spark as a new iteration of the SPAC model, but as the firm put it, quote, without any of the highly dilutive SPAC founder stock or shareholder warrants of a typical SPAC and without any underwriting fees. If you recall, they failed to under to consummate a merger for Pershing Square Tontine, which was the largest blank check ever raised. Investors in July of 2022 got all $4 billion back from that SPAC, plus a right to the Spark, which becomes effective with today's approval. Once the Spark identifies a private merger target, there will be a strike price for the rights holders, which determines the amount of capital the Spark will raise, a minimum of $1.5 billion, according to today's release. And the rights holders can choose to participate or trade at that time based on what the merger target is. So in other words, the Spark holders can opt in if they like the merger idea, whereas in SPACs, investors would opt out if they don't like what they see. Guys. Aha, uh -huh. Leslie, thank you. Uh, let's bring in Mike Santoli for a reaction. Mike, uh, maybe this would have been different when SPACs were popular, but <laughs> well, yeah. how does it matter now? Well, I'm not sure if it, uh, if it matters in terms of what the overall market is going to look like, although it does seem to go around some of the main criticisms of the SPAC structure. Um, you know, a lot of the SPACs that were out there, people gave their money over in the initial offering. The money kind of sat there. Uh, you know, it essentially added uh, cash value. And then if you opted out of the merger uh, that once it was agreed to, you got your cash back. And it was, oddly enough, a way of uh, for saving, but it did lock up people's money. So I think that's one aspect that would be different here, opting out instead of, uh, I mean, opting in instead of opting out. We'll see if it gets revived, though, this idea, because there have been many, many cycles in the past where you did have SPAC-like structures come out. They went out of favor. Uh, when the IPO market comes back and people get excited about deals again, they tend to go back. Maybe it will, in, uh, in part, be through something like this structure.